Alright guys, how's it going? My name is Mike, and this is the beta for Destiny on the PS4. Game coming out in September. Um, it's an kind of MMO on the console. It's not a fully, like, full-on MMO. It's more of a, you go into instances with groups of players, do game missions together, and the MMO part of the game is the city. So, I played the alpha, and this is the beta now. So, I've got, I'll put a link in the description showing you guys the playlist for my alpha playthrough. So we're going to look in this playthrough, we're going to be looking at what's different in the beta, what have they added. You know, I'm expecting that there's going to be a bit more, a few, quite a few more, more more missions in the beta because it's kind of closer to release than the alpha was. The alpha is just like a random bits of um, content, they're just trying to show you how the game works. So this is the character in class selection screen. So we've got Titan, he's kind of like a tank. We've got Hunter, who's kind of like a stealth character with um, some sniping it looks like. And the Warlock, who's used like magic as well as dealing damage with AoE explosions and stuff. So in my last Alpha play playthrough, I played as the Warlock. And I think this time around we're going to go with Titan. Kind of have a look at what the Tankin's all about. Because I'm kind of interested to see what Tankin's going to be like in a, you know, a first person shooter RPG. Because ne that's never really been done before, I don't think, where you're an actual tank. I don't think it's going to be threat, it's going to be more about... Giving your teammates the um, defensive buffs, like I can imagine. So these three three races: human, awoken, which is like a alien-looking kind of like silver guy. Then the exo, which is robots. I'm just gonna I'm not gonna spend too much time looking at the character same um, creation tools because it is only beta and it's not forever. So we're gonna go with human. As you can see here, there's a selection of faces. You can't really customize any sliders or anything to change how your face looks, so you just get preset face so far. This is this, this is still beta, so this could change. You could get sliders, I don't know. The eye color, oh, I've got a scar on my eye there, so kind of one of my eyes is all white. I'll probably change that at some point. So we're just gonna get a, a normal looking haircut, not too crazy futuristic. Uh, I don't like that one. <laughs> Let's change the color, Let's go a bit darker. That'll do. I'm gonna take off these markings as well because I don't. There we go. See, we put that marking on there. It's actually a scar over his left eye. Well, left eye from where we're looking at his right eye, and it makes it all um, funky. So let's take them off, and that that'll do for now. Let's just see what the campaign's all about in this beta. I was going to say, it looks like Mars, and it is. Is this the first men on Mars? That's kind of cool. Very pretty. You don't know me see astronauts with assault rifles though. <laughs> oh, what's this? Destiny! <laughs> we called it the Traveller. And its arrival changed us forever. Great cities were built on Mars and Venus. Mercury became a garden world. Human lifespan tripled. 
It was a time of miracles. We stared out at the galaxy and knew that it was our destiny to walk in the light of other stars. But the Traveler had an enemy. A darkness which had hunted it for eons across the black gulfs of space. Centuries after our golden age began, this darkness found us. And that was the end of everything. But it was also a beginning. Okay, so back on Earth in Russia. And it's a mess. There was something that looks like an explosion's gone off here or something. This game, de this part definitely wasn't in the alpha. It's like a separate introduction now for the beta. This is probably going to be the introduction for the full game when it releases, most likely. This is the darkness of the enemy, they said before, I think. Aliens. That's Peter Dinklage, Tyrion Lannister. There you are. Okay. Guardian. Guardian. Eyes up, Guardian. It worked. You're alive. You don't know how long I've been looking for you. I'm a ghost. Actually, now I'm your ghost. And you... Well, you've been dead a long time, so you're going to see a lot of things you won't understand. This is fallen territory. We aren't safe here. I have to get you to the city. Hold still. Don't worry, I'm still with you. We need to move. Fast. You just got inside me. Okay, so my character is also completely new to, new to all we this. Survive long out in the open like this. Oh, let's get inside before we start, let's change the invert look because I can't play otherwise. <laughs> That's the loop. Okay, so we're gonna head into this wall. That's the objective. Um, I can sprint. I've got no weapons. It looks like no. I didn't bring you back just for you to die again. We have to move. Okay, so I've been dead. How, how can he bring me back to life? Does he have that ability to do that to anyone? Seems strange. Um, you can. There we go. Yeah, just the press the touchpad. I remember from the alpha, and it gives you the waypoint navigation. But you can put that away now. So we're going this way. Okay, I need to find you a weapon before the fallen find us. Okay. So I'm with the call of fallen, the aliens of the fallen. It seems. Quiet. Um, I think this game gets quite a lot of slack from um, it being a crappy, like the frame rate's not great, like 30 FPS. Hang tight. Fall and thrive in the dark. We won't. We need more light. I'll see what I can do. There's a guy up there. The lighting's very good in this game. Shadows and all that. I mean, look at that. They're coming. Shit. Where are you going? Here, I found a rifle. Oh. Grab it. There's a rifle. Yeah, boy. It shoots some fallen. I hope you know how to use that thing. Where are they? 
Oh, this one there. Watch for motion on the tracker. My sight's cracked. Look for movement on the tracker at the top left, I see. It's like a mini map type like navigation compass. Uh, go away. Uh. <laughs> okay. So all I can do at the moment is shoot. I've got no class class abilities. It's just like letting me shoot the gun, that's about it. Can you melee? Um I don't know what melee is. R1, there we go. Ask and you shall receive. Hello! <laughs> Out. One punch knockout. Not bad for a guy who's been dead for a long time. Uh, okay. L2's aim. Yep. Alright. Still on there. Come on, pop your head out. There you go. Hey. Get wrecked. I remember as well in the alpha, the damage on the weapons and the, like, the level of the enemies. Keep it up. So, like. Out of sync, you know, you, the enemies would just take like two damage per shot, and you was no really way of leveling up apart from just like grinding like enemies that took forever to kill. And it seems like they've balanced that out a bit now. This is actually attuned to my level, level one. A loot cache. Let's see what's inside. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like Borderlands, you know, where you can open boxes and get loot. So I got a Preacher MK20 and 50 Glimmer. Glimmer's the currency in this game. So there we go. Got a new shotgun. That's the new weapon I just picked up. Let's load it up. Looks useful for the this kind of map, close encounters. Don't touch them. I'm not, I'm not going to touch them. <laughs> I may have been dead, mate, but I'm not stupid. Whoa! All right. Can you shoot the trip mines? Might be a bit easy to get past them. Yes, you can. Let's go around this side. Okay, so there's enemies. Oh, there's one. Let's get, try shotgun out. Kind of missed there. I'm no. I'm usually awful at using shotguns in games, so I might have to stop using this. <laughs> you have to be pretty close for it to be effective in this. It takes a while to reload as well, actually. Yeah, you gotta be pretty close. Let's melee this guy. Punch way. <laughs> okay, these guys dropping nothing. I think they drop ammo and maybe like health or something. My health bar is in the top screen there. It's, it's disappeared now because it's full. Uh, where are we going, boy? We're going over there. All right. So our objective is just trying to escape from like all these fallen. You know, we're just we're just pretty much being reborn, and we're just trying to. Understand what's going on, and we've got a whole load of enemies in the way before we can actually do that. So it looks like dregs die a lot easier than um, I think they're called vandals. Where's he gone? This one. Yeah, they die pretty quick. The other ones that are like got more armor on, obviously take more damage. Like that guy there on the right, the vandal. Yeah, he takes a few more shots. It looks like. No, that was a headshot. Wow, 100 damage for a punch. Each bullet always takes 20. Than this place than I thought. Just a little bit further. Let's hope there's something left out there. It is a nice looking game though. God, look at that. Look at that shadow. It's just, it's really nice. The light and the, the reflections in the water. You know, it's. I think beta is normally like the final build, not final build, but you know, visually textures. They might add a few textures this here and there. Cosmodrome. There's got to be something we can fly out of here. I need to fly off this planet then. There's some tanks hanging. Oh, hello. What's that? Incoming. No shit. What's that? <gasps> you just teleported like a massive ship in. Oh, uh. Got dust in my eyes. Where the fuck's he going? Are they dropping off more reinforcements to come kill me? Where are we going? Where's the objective? We have actually got one. Oh this shit! This close to the surface. What's this? Move! Move where? <laughs> what are we doing? Tyrion, help me! <laughs> uh, okay, I think the plan is just. Oh god, there's loads there. Have I got grenades? I could do with some grenades. Shoot these guys. Try and kill them quickly. And what we don't have to kill, we'll try and run past. There's a guy there. Uh, 
think he was lighting up a grenade then. Look, he had something electrical in his hand. You kind of lose the, um, there's a guy on me. The thing in the top left that shows you where enemies are, it disappears when you aim down the site. So, you gotta be, keep coming out of it to make sure there's no one actually right behind you. Go away. And as well, I don't think there's any difficulty settings in this game, because it is kind of like MMO-ish, you know, it's just the scaled on your level, and that's just the way it is. It's probably going to be harder content, you know, as you progress through the game, like in hardcore, I mean heroic instances and dungeons and stuff. Oh, a grenade would have been lovely there. I haven't got one though. There's one more guy. That's nice of him to wait so long to shoot. So headshots are critical, hit, crit, critical hits. Oh, level 2. Okay, you can upgrade your abilities by pressing the options button. Let's see what we've got with this. I think this is the upgrades. Subclass requires level 15. Can I click on this? Press triangle. Here we go. So, I think I've unlocked grenades. Flashbang grenade. Press X to select it. So that's, um, I don't know if I purchased that just now, or it's just like, acknowledged that it's there. So I've got grenades, I think, now. I'm picking up signs of an old jump ship. Could be our ticket out of here. I think the game will tell me how to use grenades. Upgrade unlocked. Yes. It, the, all the game as well is in first person, apart from when you go to the main city, it goes into third person, because there's no combat. But... It's quite fun, the, the shooting though, I like it. It's, it is like Borderlands in a way, with the um, the numbers, you know, damage numbers and uh, like looting and an RPG way. It's fun. Get wrecked! This is it's like tutorial though. Clear them out. Here's the ship, okay. Are we gonna be able to fly that? This guy's got armor on it, looks like. He's got like a blue shield around him. You have to deplete the shield. If you, if you don't shoot him again, it probably regenerates. We're gonna take out all the ads first. And then we're gonna. There we go. Let's get this guy. Yeah, so shield's gone now and his health goes down. Summon and friends, though. I think it's important to keep the ads down before you go rushing the boss. Where's he going? Okay, I think we should maybe just rush the boss now because these ads are getting a bit too much. Let's get a shotgun out. Boom! Oh, I missed. That does good damage, actually. All right. Let me see if I can get us out of here. Okay. Ghost is gonna try and fly the ship for us then, I guess. That's me. Yep. It's been here a while. Hasn't made a jump in centuries. We're lucky the fallen haven't completely picked it clean. Will it fly? I've got a voice. Make it work. Easy as that. Okay, it's not going to break orbit. It just might get us to the city. Now, about that trans man. Bringing you in. How oh, nice! Just teleport us in. We can come back for them when you're ready. Let's get you home. <laughs> Come back for them. Who's that guy? Alright, so this is my summary. Just tell me what I just did in that mission, I think. Oh, that was quick. Okay. We killed enemies. Ability kills. Yep. And um, let's continue. Let's quickly just check this out a second. 
So it just tells you who, how many people you killed, you, what you did, you know. I unlocked a flashbang grenade. That's my next ability I'm going to get. Jump and press the X button. Again, while in the air to activate lift. It's like a jetpack thing, I think. I'm not sure how much being a tank class affects my defense as a character. Like, do I get more HP or what? I don't know. Looks like we just unlocked the, cl the jump ship there on the right as well. I really hope that ghost is flying that and not me. <laughs> Can't imagine I know how to fly that. The cinematics are really cool in this game. The draw this as well, isn't it? This looks like the main city then, where you go to get all your your gear, you know, repairs and rest. There we are. Welcome to the last safe city on Earth. The only place the Traveler can still protect. It took centuries to build. Now, we're counting every day it stands. And this tower is where the Guardians live. I think there's only one faction as well, and that's Guardians. That's what we all are. Every class. Okay, so we are on Titan. I was just saying, welcome, I am Titan. Um, Commander Zavala, the mentor of your now Titans. New Titan, I can't read that. New Titans. Arriving in the tower, I can help you with some equipment. Okay. So before we um, go ahead and do all that, you know, check out what the equipment we're going to get for our class and meet our mentor, I'm going to end this part here, guys, and uh, we'll start up the next part exploring this city and seeing what the next uh, mission is. Alright, guys, um, thanks for watching. Um, if you want to see the alpha playlist, I'll put that in the description again, as, as I said before. So um, please do like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next part. See ya!